pro to bodybuilding? Um, I, ooh, it was a, I've been in fitness for over 30 years and, uh, yeah, 52. <laughs> so, um, I, uh, I've, I've always been in fitness, but somewhere in my thirties, I, um, I went through a divorce and, um, I was like, you know, I've always wanted to do a, um, uh, competition. So I, um, did, I think I was 37 at the time and I did one and, uh, I won and then it would just went from there. And then sure. Mm -hmm. I became an IFBB pro and I've been um, doing it professionally. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, um, at least in, in recent times, you know, when it comes to bodybuilding, we're getting a lot of um, former, former athletes. They transition from competitive team sports and now they're going into bodybuilding. Then you have another wave of uh, young men, young women that, want to look good, want to feel good, and they want to be the best version um, of themselves. Now, before, you know, way, way back before you got into bodybuilding, did you have like sports or athletic background? Uh, yes. Um, <clears throat> I was um, in uh, long distance track. I was in the league basketball. I'm on five foot. <laughs> 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 and... Uh, uh, I was in, I was a cheerleader and so, and I was in gymnastics. So I've always had that kind of background. And then of course, for 21 years, I was um, a fitness instructor gym and uh, taught like aerobic classes, body pump classes and so forth. Okay. okay. Always, always worked out every day. Uh, so, so you, you kind of, you know, you built that base, you built that foundation. Yes, correct. And pretty much with our young viewers, even our younger viewers that are, you know, 15, 16, um, a constant point of emphasis throughout each episode is to be more than an athlete or to be well-rounded. Now, for, for Lenore Gregson, you're pretty much doing business, books bodybuilding, blogs. So, you know, kind of share with us the importance of not putting all your eggs in one basket. Oh, God. Yeah. I, uh, I'm a business owner and I've owned a company for about 29 years, uh, Kaiser Medical Management. So that company provides corporate wellness programs to corporations direct. So we go in and do blood work and flu shots and health fairs and wellness lectures and all things of that nature. And uh, I work with the entire health industry in Texas. So um, I've always had that as my base. And then, of course, there's LenoreGregson.com. That's more of an individual one-on-one -on -one coaching. And so through that, I do, um, you know, coaching, personal training, meal, nutrition, and so forth. And my background is in the medical field, so I'm a nurse. And um, so I, um, I have that foundation for that aspect of it. And really my main, um, um, as far as clientele, um, is people that are... Um, as far as on the medical side, is more of um, they're obese and um, they're trying to get the gastric surgery. So they're needing to lose so much weight before the insurance pays for it. So there's that aspect of it. And then there's the person that wants to lose weight. And then um, about eight or nine years ago, um, people started sending messages to me asking me, like, I want to know what it's like to like be you for get ready for a competition. So I started the nine week fit challenge, which means basically you go through what I go through nine weeks before stage. Is and that the one that's coming back up in September? Um, well, there's, um, no, I, well, it, I do the nine week fit challenge four times a year. It doesn't mean that I show it just means that you're going to go through what I go through nine weeks before. And uh, it'll be on your level of fitness, but you're going to go through what I go through, meaning meal prep and workouts and so forth. You're not going to pick up the same weight as I do, maybe, but you're going to go through the same process. And so 
And nine weeks later, you know, people have gotten off of medications, they've gotten off of high blood pressure medicine, they've lost weight, they've uh, lost inches, they, I've had people that um, went into uh, personal training afterwards, because they really enjoyed um, the aspect of it. I've had people that never thought of competing before all of a sudden are on the stage. Um, You know, one of the gals uh, was like 63 years old, and for the first time ever got on stage and she looked, she looked amazing. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, at the beginning, I, you know, mentioned, you know, I kind of described like some of the different waves of people entering bodybuilding, even on a smaller level, uh, talked about just some people just simply want to look good, feel good, be the best version of themselves. So, so if you are, uh, offering like your online services, you know, what are kind of like the price packages and what are they, what can they expect to get from your online program? Uh, depends if they, if they want to do the nine week fit challenge, uh, it's actually for nine weeks, it's $200 and uh, um, it's a group program. And so um, you're on a group private Facebook page and, um, Basically, I'm in your face every day <laughs> and uh, giving you exactly what to do every single day. And, um, and then there's accountability day on Fridays. If we're doing a one on one, I require a minimum of three months um, that you commit it to, because a lot of people will say, well, I just want to I just want to, you know, get ready for a wedding that my daughter is going to have next month. And I'm like, mm, no, it's <laughs> I, I, you know, they want me to create magic. They're like, uh-huh. you're gonna create. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, I, I want to create habits. Not, not. I'm, I'm not gonna be the watermelon diet for you. You know, just uh, you, you need to create a healthy living habit. And it usually takes about three months for somebody to transition and really, um, you know, see the results and sustain them after I leave them. Um, and th- there's people that will like for the fit challenge, um, people come back, they come back for the, even though they've done it three, four times, they keep coming back just because, and I would say the number one reason people, um, they learn everything they need to learn, but they come back because of the accountability. And people, you know, for 17 years, Uh, of me being um, in the competition world, um, I have a coach and I've had the same coach for 17 years. And, you know, if you know what you're doing, why do you have a coach? And I'm like, well, does the Jordan um, basketball player have a coach? You know, I could go down every professional millionaire uh, athlete and they all have coaches because everybody needs somebody to tell them when they're yes um because a lot of times we tend to get stagnant on ourselves or different now fair enough fair enough um you know i'm starting to get more you know initially this youth mentorship podcast started off predominantly sports but then for more of my female demographics i started getting more fitness questions, wellness questions that was kind of beyond my reach. So it was very helpful to get in, you know, IFBB pros from time to time. Now, why do you think there's so much of a challenge with the meal prep part when it comes to dieting and and, and, and sculpting one's body? Why is that so challenging, even more than lifting actual dead weight? That is the hardest part, actually, because once you take the carbs out from well, they uh, they uh, angry. <laughs> they uh, really, uh, you know that. In fact, during the nine weeks, because for the as far as the fit challenge, if you don't post your pictures on Accountability Day, you get a program. That's the number one rule that I have is that um, I don't I don't need to see what you're doing every day because I'll know on Friday <laughs> if you're doing. It. And so. Um, and I've heard every excuse in the world, you know, as far as, you know, um, from people. And I, and I tell everybody the same thing. I go, everybody in this program has 24 hours. Everybody in this program has crap 
deal with every single day from children to husbands to wife to work and so forth. And so, um, you know, there's really no excuse if one person's able to do it and you're not. Um, you're just you're 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 not 100 percent committed and that's OK. But um, maybe come back in the next program because you have to. It's a mindset. It's not necessarily necessarily a physical thing because um, you know my carbs right now are extraordinarily low because I'm getting ready for different shows. Mm-hmm. But every day I get up and every day it's it's without a doubt I'm going to hit the gym. I'm going to do my cardio. I'm going to eat my meals, and it, it's it's automatic. I don't think about it. Um, it's just a mindset. Right. Okay. And, and speaking of, you know, speaking of mindset, what type of advice would you have for our young ladies that are on some kind of fitness plan or fitness program, but they're not getting results as fast as they, they would want? The, the fat is not leaving the waist and stomach area as fast as they would want. Well, it depends if, you know, if they're trying to do it on their own or if they if they have somebody that they're working with, because typically the people that are not seeing the results are trying to do it on their own. And um, I always tell uh, people that after they leave the nine week fit challenge is uh, to find somebody in their area. Because I work with people across the country. And so... Um, I tell them if it's not me, find somebody local because everybody needs somebody to be accountable to. And uh, to me, that's the number one thing uh, that keeps somebody on track. Regardless, it's not, it, and I'm just talking in general, um, it doesn't have to be fitness. It could be business. It could be in any aspect of it. You need somebody that you're accountable to. Well said, well said, Lenore. Um, now is, you know, where would you, you know, where would you rank, um, you know, where would you rank like just the overall mindset on being well-rounded and, 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 and being balanced with success in life, whether it's bodybuilding, business, um, taking up a hobby, being competitive at, at anything. Um, as far as what do you, what exactly question? <laughs> as far as, so. You know, so as far as like, you know, just the physical, you know, aspect, you know, that you have in, for example, bodybuilding, you know, there's obviously a, a mental, you know, com- component in that. Now, where would you say you could apply some of that same mindset into anything beyond bodybuilding? Uh, I mean, um, when, when, as far as um, when I'm working with somebody, I not only see them change physically, I see them change mentally okay. and it really uh domino effects in every aspect of their life um from their marriage to their work to how they see things and how they um they stop making excuses in other words or when when they they hear themselves say it because when somebody gives me an excuse um i don't like for example if somebody says you know um, I, I couldn't get up this morning and I, I was tired, whatever the case may be. And, and my, I don't, my question is, so what are you going to do about it? I put it back on them because okay. I want them to, to realize that they're the ones that need to solve their problem as far as that's concerned, because I can't be there to say, wake up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I, I basically put it back on them and a question that will make them think, okay, yeah, I, I know I could get up. It's just a matter of getting up. And I like the way, you know, you put that and, and provided that example. As you were speaking, I was thinking of some parallels as far as me having coached kids in football, baseball, and track. And within those three sports, Lenore, you can't imagine how many excuses I get as far as oh, I just can't jump like some of the other kids, or I just don't have the short burst of speed. You know, Mm -hmm. yes, genetics plays, you know, a certain part in sports, but as far as your production, 
you know, obviously a lot of it has to do with you, the individual, the work you put. In. Yeah, well, and true. And it's like, so what are you going to do about it? It's about consistency. It's about, you know, if, if, you, if you're not able to make the basket, uh, that means, you know, maybe spending a little bit extra time before, you know, get there an hour early, stay an hour late, um, you know, don't go partying on the weekends. Um, it's, you know, you know, when I, when I, when I, when I, that I've, uh, which was actually Michael and uh, he would get to, I mean, practice didn't, didn't start till seven, but he got there at four o'clock in the morning Extra early. and practice and practice and practice. And one guy that was trying to, to uh, be better than him thought, I'm going to get there early. So he shows up at five and Jordan was already there an hour and didn't even realize <laughs> He's here already. And mm -hmm. the mentality that you have to have if you want to be great. Awesome. Awesome. Um, and with this being youth mentorship, Lenore, um, if you are coming up with a, a movie about your life story so far, what will be the title? Which actress will play you and Ooh. why? Wow. <laughs> One. Oh, I never thought about it. <laughs> um, it puts every guest on the spot and it kind of helps them think <laughs> back to life lessons, you know, big challenges that they had to face and overcome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's funny. You know, it's really funny is that one of um one of my first shows that I, I was on as far as on for a competition, um, you know, I don't get nervous anymore being on stage. But um, when I when I very first had to get on stage, I remember having the nerves and um, I remember in my head saying, OK, who who do I ever see on like on TV that I, I think? I wish I could be her like she dominates um, and I still remember um, Angela Jolie um, I don't know if it was the um, Oscars or what it was but she was wearing a black long dress that had a slit all the way to her hip and she walked on stage and owned it but uh, there was talking going on in the audience and she stamped her foot and everybody got quiet Silent. It commanded their attention and I so when I went on stage I was like I'm Angela and Julia <laughs> so, <laughs> whole routine that I had to go through and uh and I won so I I was nice. so I uh I I think I have a little of her but I actually unfortunately have a little bit of Jennifer Aniston so it was you know go <laughs> 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 Fair enough, fair enough. You know, confidence, you know. Yeah, no idea. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, you know, that's still, you know, that's still good because, you know, obviously self-esteem, confidence, believing yourself is a big part of what the work that, you know, the work that I've been doing with youth. And, you know, obviously without confidence and self-esteem, it's an uphill battle in anything that, you know, anything that we do, whether we're youth, you know, or, or adults, you know. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, how can, you know, how can, uh, you know, how can potential clients reach you for online personal training services? Uh, if they know my name, they could find me by www.lenoregregson.com. Lenoregregson.com. Okay. L-E-N-R-E-Gregson.com. <laughs> Much yeah. appreciated, Lenore. Uh, continue blessings and success. And, uh, you know, obviously, thank you for being a role model. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you uh, reaching out to me. Yes, ma'am. Have a good one. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.